Hi everybody, John from Wire here, and in this video we're going to learn how to connect a MailChimp account to your Shopify store. That way when people sign up on your Shopify store to join your mailing list, your contacts are automatically imported into your MailChimp account. In order to get started, you'll need to already have a MailChimp account and already be an admin or owner on your Shopify account. To get started, log in to Shopify and click on apps. And then click on the button that says shop for apps. The app that you're looking for is called shop sync. And this is the option right here that you want to choose. Again, this is shop sync by shop sync. And it will say within the description, connect to your store with MailChimp. I will leave a link directly to this app within the description of this video. Click on add app. And that's going to take you back into your Shopify store. It's going to ask you to review all this information. It'll be able to modify your account data. It's going to be able to view your online store orders. If you're comfortable with this, go ahead and click on install app. Now that you've installed the app, it's going to take you to the Connect Your Store to MailChimp page. Since you've already logged into MailChimp and created an account, you can click on the green Connect button. This is going to pull up a login page, so go ahead and log in to your MailChimp account. And then once you've logged in, it's going to ask you to agree and allow ShopSync to connect to your Shopify store. Click on Allow. And once you click on the allow button, this pop-up is going to go away and it's going to say that you've connected your MailChimp account to your Shopify store. Once you've added the app, it's going to take you to the settings for the application itself. So there's a few different options that you have here. You can select the list that you want all of your customers and their purchase data to import into, and you can split out your different customer lists within MailChimp. Right now, I only have one list within my MailChimp account, so I'm going to leave that selected. The second option is the Shopify customer tag mapper. This is really, really important and you want to start using this as soon as possible. Let's say, for example, that you have a customer and within that customer, you have marked this customer with the tag right here as a VIP. If you include the VIP tag in the Shopify custom customer tag mapper, it's going to sync this tag with this contact within MailChimp. This is really important if you want to target specific groups or segments of your customers within Shopify. So every single customer that you mark with the VIP tag, for example, just like we've done with this customer right here, will automatically be imported into MailChimp. And that way, when you send out an email campaign just for your VIP customers, you'll very easily be able to tell which ones are VIPs because you have the tag synced between Shopify and MailChimp. Highly recommend that if you're not using tags within Shopify already, start doing so because when it comes to email marketing and retargeting for those different customers, you want to be able to split each one of your customers into different groups, depending on their spending habits, their likes and dislikes, and whether you want to offer them different promotions. So since I only have one tag that I want to export over into MailChimp, I'm going to add my VIP tag right there. You can add as many as you like. The next option is double opt-in settings. A double opt-in is when the customer or the person that signs up for your newsletter receives an email from MailChimp asking them if they actually want to subscribe to the mailing list. You can leave this enabled, but you can always disable this if you just want people that sign up to automatically be added to your list. I'm going to disable this. That way, anyone that signs up doesn't have to click on an extra email in order to start receiving email marketing from me through MailChimp. Finally, we're going to select what merge tags we want. Merge tags makes it easy to map certain pieces of information from your Shopify store into your settings in MailChimp. For example, I want to match my Shopify customer first name with the first name field within MailChimp. Same exact thing for last name. It's going to match to my customer last name within Shopify. And of course, the same with phone number. If you do collect birthdays on your Shopify store, you have the ability to send over that information as well. I don't collect birthday information on the Shopify store, so I'm not going to map this data item. 
Once you have all of these settings filled out and you feel comfortable with everything here, you can go and click on the button that says connect to MailChimp and start sync. So now that the sync is started, there's a few things to keep in mind. They lay it out really easily for you. The first thing is that it takes a wide variety of time, depending on the size of your store, to have all of that data transferred over into MailChimp. So don't be concerned if it takes more than a day, and sometimes it can even take weeks. Uh, the second thing is that if you have automations that are running in MailChimp, make sure that you migrate them after the sync is complete. If you are connecting MailChimp to your Shopify store for the first time, you don't really need to worry about this right now. And finally, if you need extra support with this plugin or with MailChimp and Shopify as a whole, you can go and subscribe to their paid plan. I don't think you really need this. After you go and set up the sync, you're pretty much all set to go. Click on the button that says, got it. And then it's going to show you the syncs that are in progress. So as the sync is in progress, it's going to show you all the data that's being transferred over into MailChimp. If you have different promo codes, they will also sync over to MailChimp as well. And this will be used if you have different campaigns that you want to send out and include those promo codes in your MailChimp campaigns. We can go and see if the customers have been added successfully by logging in to our MailChimp dashboard and then clicking on the button that says all contacts on the left hand side under audience. So I've noticed that my MailChimp customer is not yet imported. So I'm going to wait a couple hours and come back to this page and hopefully we'll see my VIP customer listed here within my audience. Okay, so I waited a couple minutes and refreshed the page and I've noticed that my brand new customer from my Shopify store has successfully imported into my MailChimp account. And if you notice, I have my VIP tag, which is included with the customer, and it also includes the source. So the source of this customer came from my Shopify example store. If you go back into your Shopify store, you'll see all the different products and customers and all these other data elements that have been imported into MailChimp and you are set to go and start targeting each one of these different customers with custom campaigns within your MailChimp account. A few important notes to keep in mind as you're using this application. You might notice a situation where the number of customers that you have in your Shopify store is not equal to the number of subscribers that you have within your MailChimp account. The reason for this is that there may be a sync problem with some of these customers as they are being exported into your MailChimp account. You can check and see if there's a problem with exporting either of these different customers by going into the settings for ShopSync. And again, the way that I got there was going into apps and then clicking on the ShopSync app and then clicking on the logs tab. So the logs tab is going to show you all of the different actions that are occurring between your Shopify account and your MailChimp account. If you notice, at the bottom of this page, it's telling me that there is customer update errors. And what this means is that some of my customers were not added to my MailChimp account. And you can search within the log section by the email of the customer that you're trying to figure out why they haven't been exported into MailChimp. The reason why this customer was not exported into my MailChimp account was because I was just using an example email Therefore, it didn't move this data over into, into MailChimp. So again, if there's ever an issue that your customers or your products or your orders are not syncing back and forth between MailChimp and Shopify, your best bet is to go and check out the logs because most likely something happened or it's a fake account. If you still need help, you can always leave a comment at the bottom of this video, or if you really need extra help, you can click on the support tab and you can upgrade for five bucks a month. If you ever need to edit your settings or modify your tags or orders, you can click on the Shop Sync button within the app section, and that will take you to the settings page for the application. Within this page, you can always check your current sync status, you can add different promo codes, and you can also add various tags if you haven't done so already. If you also have major issues with syncing your data back and forth from Shopify to MailChimp, you can force a resync, which will have the application perform a full reset and import all of the data from scratch from your Shopify store into your MailChimp account. 
I hope this video helped, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of this video. I try to read and respond to every single one. If you have any other questions related to how to set up and send your MailChimp campaigns now that you've connected your MailChimp account to Shopify, go ahead and check out my other videos. I included some playlists and video links in the description of this video. It should get you all set to send out your first MailChimp campaign.